Hi folks, Nathan here. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can build your own ambience presets in Arkenforge to really take advantage of everything that our audio platform has to offer. So to start out with, we're going to click on audio on the side here, and we're going to go to ambience. As you can see, we have a lot of purchase content already that comes in with your essentials pack, but today we're going to click on new ambience preset and just give it a name, tutorial. If you haven't watched our previous video on our ambience presets already, I'd highly recommend that as that lets you know the basics of how things work with bringing content into the ambience player and taking it out. So let's add some sound effects to our ambience here. We're going to make sure that our drop down is here and you should see the add new SFX button. You can add from the content library, which opens up our library here where you can browse all content. We have add new SFX from file import. So if you've got WAV, OGG, or MP3 files, you can just import them in. Or you can go from search, which is our global search function here. So we're going to go from search since we already have it open. And what we want to do, we want to make sure content type here is set to sound effects, which we already is. And we're going to search up some tavern things. So let's start out with some glasses. We're going to select all four of these, click and drag, and bring them into our ambience here. So right off the bat, if we hit play, you'll notice it doesn't sound very good. We just get a whole heap of glass sounds. It doesn't really sound like the sort of thing we'd want, so we need to make a few edits. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with this glass break, head to the drop down, and you'll see that we have timing and volume right off the bat. So for our timing, we want this to play once, and then we're going to wait 10 seconds for it. Actually, we'll go five, just since we don't want this tutorial to go too long. So now when I hit play on this glass break, it's going to play, then we're going to wait five seconds, and it's going to play again. And it's going to keep repeating that over and over and over. But if we have these sort of things where it's just this same sound playing on a constant timing, then your players are going to start to notice it and they're going to be thrown out of the immersion because they're going to realize, hey, every five seconds, there's a glass breaking. So we want to add some more effects. So for now, let's just start with a timing variance of 50%. And that adds this little part here and we can adjust that as needed, but let's keep it at 50. 51, sure. So now when we hit play, it's going to set the delay to 5 seconds plus or minus 50%. So now instead of going every time on the 5 second mark, it's going to go between 2.5 and 7.5 and and seconds. Alright. We can see that going very nicely. So now let's add some more effects. Now we're going to do a panning variance of 100%. So that is going to shift it between the left and the right channel. So by default, our panning's at zero, and every time it plays, it should put it in a different space. So be the left or right, and you should be able to hear that. If you look on here, you'll be able to see the levels of the left and right channel, so you'll know where it's going. If you want to make this specific, you can remove the variance. And we add just a panning, and we can set it directly. So if we set it to 100, or minus 100, we only get left channel. If we set it to positive 100, we only get right channel. And if we set it to zero, we get it right in the middle. But I would recommend we set that panning variance to about 75 just so we're not getting it fully in one channel and fully in the other. We also have other options we can do, such as the pitch. By default, this is set to 100, but we can say bring it down to 60-ish. Bring it up to 150. And then we can add a pitch variance, say 50%. So now we, it sounds like we have glasses of different sizes that are breaking. So 
timing variance we've got. Volume variance we'll set to say 50%. So we're going to get a little bit of variation in how loud that glass breaking is. And then if we want to go all out, we're going to go for some reverb. So if we click on this one, you can hear that pretty straight away. We're going to hit the edit button and we get our full reverb settings. So this is something I'd only recommend someone dive into if they're really passionate about their audio mixing. So we can do things like a padded cell, concert hall, etc. But we're going to remove the reverb for now because it's a little bit overkill. Yeah, we're going to do a similar thing to all of these. So let's have our timing variance at 75. Timing, get two glass clinks and then wait three seconds. And let's put a panning variance of 75. <coughs> do the same for our glasses clink here. Set 25% volume. So we have a nice quiet one, some good panning variants, some good pitch variants. Okay, and finally our glassware, which we'll once again do a pretty similar thing. For most of these you can do a, get some pretty solid effects if you just set all the variances to about 50% and leave everything else at its default. And now we're going to add in some crowds. So we're going to once again go from search, search crowd. Let's get some cheering in there. So should we click and drag it? Every 20 seconds. And let's make sure I go back on these and have it not at zero seconds. But let's go every minute. And every eight seconds. Alrighty. Variance of 50. Timing variance of 25. And let's have a fireplace. We'll use the campfire loop. That'll be pretty good. Drag you in. <clears throat> For a loop, you want the timing to stay at zero because that is going to make it loop forever, essentially. And with that, we just want to keep the volume low. We don't want any variance on it. And finally, if we can just find a little tavern loop to throw in as well, just for the background ambience. And that should all be great. So now we're going to hit stop. And then we're going to hit play to play everything at once. We'll just minimize all of these first. And you can see that we've set our own ambience here. We have all our glass things going on. We have our campfire and our tavern just going in the background. And there's our cheers going off, which is going to happen every 20 or so seconds. And that is just one ambience created. So if you're looking to create your own ambience, um, it is a very time consuming process. So I'd recommend sticking to the ones that come with the software if you can, but if you are someone who really wants to set the scene exactly how you want it, then we have a lot of depth that's available with our ambient system. And yeah, we give you all the control that you want. So that's all for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.